Dento is developing digital therapeutic solutions to treat upper limb impairment after stroke. So our mission is uh, helping respiratory patients to breathe easier and we achieve it uh, by making spirometer tests more accessible to the patients. Our mission is to uh, power the medical IoT revolution, connect, make, turn all devices from standalone into connected solution. We do um, um, AI solution for uh, medicals. This one is uh, uh, AI analyzing ECG data uh, from dogs. So we do uh, AI enabled diagnosis for animal uh, uh, doctors. Our main uh, scope and objective is to provide uh, the tool to the surgeons to improve their planning phase, to reduce as much as possible any risk in the surgeries. Hey, I'm Annika from Vihago. We make virtual reality therapy games for half paralyzed patients, for example, after stroke, so they can train at home with this mobile VR glass um, and be more motivated uh, during their recovery. So we're Stethemy and what we do is we make an AI powered stethoscope that allows non-medical professionals to perform an automatic and remote lung and heart examination and get immediate feedback on whether you have any abnormal sounds in your lung or heart. Hi, uh, my name is Ling. I am the founder and CEO of Bombaton. We are developing Bombaton Food Health System the connected insole platform, tracking temperature, pressure for diabetic patients, so we can help preventing the foot amputation from happening. So you're saying there's no, there's no element in that, it's actually in the fabric? Yeah, we use the fiber. Hi, we are HID Fiber Corporation, and we are working on the smart textile that is uh, designed to fit different type of purpose. For example, we have the heating here, and then we have the tense and EMS garment over there. And we want to improve the healthcare and the people's lives. is to really take personalized healthcare into the home environment because we strongly believe that if you monitor vital parameters long term, you can make a huge impact and see uh, signals and give more insights to doctors so they can improve their treatment for patients. So we are Omnidermal Biomedics, an Italian startup, and this is Wundu, uh, the Wundiewer, our first uh, uh, medical device based on artificial intelligence for the, the monitoring of cutaneous ulcers. This will allow doctors, nurses, and uh, healthcare professionals to uh, monitor the status of, uh, of the healing of a wound does uh, uh, allowing for uh, the, the um, analysis of this kind of pathologies and prevent uh, uh, the worsening of the pathologies and does uh, allowing for uh, the saving of cost and other let's say clinical complications <laughs> We have 
developed the universal platform for detection of different biomarkers. Our first product is the test for the detection of influenza virus. When in three minutes, with the sensitivity of the real-time PCR, uh, we get the results if we have the influenza virus or not. In next year, we are going to launch another product for detection of upper respiratory uh, infections, of uh, urinary tract infections, and in 2021, intimate tract infections. Name uh, my memo is an uh, automatic pill dispenser. Uh, the patient use uh, the app. The patient or caregiver can use uh, this app to uh, to add the new medication. The name of the medication, the frequency, the posology, and the time and the day. So the patient push the button, it open, and there is the, the right term, okay? Then you push twice, and it's closed. In Informatica, we are on a mission to guide every single patient to the right care. We do it by developing an AI-driven tools for better patient education. How it works is that we are able to determine the best level of care for the patient based on their initial symptoms and their general risk profile. Uh, after a few questions, we are able to determine where you should go inside uh, your provider's network. Hello, we are Cosinus. We are a technology company based in Munich and we develop in-ear variables that measure multiple vital signs. And we see the use case for this wearable device in life for remote patient monitoring, telemedicine use cases or clinical studies. Uh, we started in professional sports and see our future in medical healthcare and uh, occupational safety. Hi, we are Skylabs and we developed our income and device for continuous monitoring of heart rhythm and then based on that we can detect atrial fibrillation for the patient and doctors. Also we have an application and a website so we have a remote monitoring platform for the patient and doctors. Hello, my name is Natalie, I'm from Moyo, and we are creating a mobile solution for elderly patients, patients with dementia, to support their caregivers by providing them with in the information they need. Hi, I'm Julian from Physimed. I'm a mechatronic engineer. I, I was developed this medical device. It's a perineal med medical device for re-education re of the pelvic floor muscle. It's a probe connected to a smartphone application to rehabilitation of the muscle here. Muscle is, the, the probe is connected to a smartphone application and the woman can play serious game to re-educate the muscle. Hi, we're Plax Wireless Biosignals. Uh, we're a company located in Lisbon, Portugal, and we develop biosignal acquisition platforms. So these are platforms where we connect a variety of different sensors to uh, synchronized sensors so they can get access to their raw data and develop your own uh, biomedical applications using our hardware. So we have Sensor Care from Barcelona. This is a holder for Parkinson that assists the neurologist for first time giving objective information 
uh, providing, which is the real motor state of the patient. The main goal is help uh, making adjustments on the medication and uh, improve the quality of life of the patient for, for more time in the Parkinson's disease. Okay, uh, we're uh, showing the fetal, mobile fetal monitor. It's a very small and cute uh, fetal monitor. And uh, this can, uh, yeah, uh, doctor can understand what's going on on the baby, in the mom, apart from the mother, so telemedicine system. It's very innovative and uh, we can save the mother's and the baby's life with this device. Thank you. Uh, we are 8 Cents, a young startup from uh, Germany, and we develop a posture coach. It's uh, a small wearable and you clip it here on the collar. And um, from this position, we are able to measure all the movements of the bag and your posture. And uh, we address people who are sitting a lot, for example, office workers. And our goal is uh, to help people to change their sitting behavior in the long run um, towards a more active uh, sitting behavior. The sitting uh, time overall should be reduced. And um, uh, yeah, um, in the end, we want to help people to prevent back pain and also other health issues which are related uh, to a long time sitting. Well, anyway, I wanted to get yeah. back to you. Yeah. I'll come back. Were you here or were you here at the event? Our name is Lee Hart. We are a manufacturer of a medical device. It's a portable ECG for smartphones and tablets. It connects via Bluetooth with smartphone and tablets and perform 8 leads for patients and 8 to 12 leads ECG for health professionals like doctors, nurses and pharmacists. So we have two uh, products, two projects. Uh, the goal of the first one is in ophthalmology. It's to uh, allow patients to get rid of glasses. The second one in oncology, it's to allow patients to have more control on cancer through detection, active prevention, and possibly help with the treatment. This is project iFoot and we're developing a total contact cast with an embedded sensor platform to measure the wound data within a total contact cast. This is the prototype and you can see that you measure pressure, the temperature, the humidity and if the wound is leaking. Thank you.